50 years is a long time. And for those marriages where a couple can last for 50 years, that guy is one lucky guy. Because most women, I can't imagine how they put up with them that long. But the 50th anniversary is the golden anniversary. So it's so appropriate that this video is about obtaining 50 gold skulltulas. And, of course, these are gold skulltulas, and gold happens to be the medal for the 50th anniversary. I'm not sure if there's actually a tie-in there. One of my subscribers suggested that I make a gold skulltula guide. This one specifically, though, goes all the way up to 50 and just beyond, and then we go to the House of Skulltula, and we cash in. So I want to thank you. You know who you are, and man, I really appreciate the suggestion. So guys, buckle in. We're going to start at the Deku Tree, work our way all the way through the dungeons as a kid. Then we're going to travel through seven years, become an adult, go through the Forest Temple, and then after that, yes, we cash in after 50 gold skull tell us. So that's what this is. It's really straightforward. Simple enough. I hope you enjoy the ride. This is Loud Boy. Let's go get him. I think inside the great Deku tree and away we go. We went straight across before. However, if we head off to our left, okay, look at that. There's our prize right there. It's a Deku stick. Booyah. This is the first of many, many gold skulltellas. Lots of cash prizes await us. No, just prizes. Some really cool stuff, though. Um, piece of heart. But one of the biggest things is the Stone of Agony. Um, had a different name in the 3DS version, but basically this allows you to... Uh, your controller will vibrate when it's near some kind of secret. A lot of times there's a hole in the ground, and it's... You can't see it, right? It's kind of cloaked, but like the Song of Storms or a bomb will expose that. But this allows you to see, if you will, um, hidden things. Now, remember, we got a gold skull tunnel before. There's a couple more down here, including right here. Using my slingshot. One, two. Booyah. Now, all we have to do is climb on up and get it, and it'll give us two total. Now, by pressing the start button inside this menu, right here in the quest status section of the subscreens, you can see it shows you how many you have. So if you ever want to check, that is where you check. Before, well, by the way, we fell down up there, okay? It's where we fell down from that big room up on uh, level one, okay? The multiple levels that we came in going up the tree trunk. When we fell into this water and we were up on that ledge, right across there. Well, we couldn't come over to the side yet. However, I showed you that gold skull tala. Well, now we can get it. I told you we'd do it in a moment. We're here. All right, so aiming. One, two. The only really graceful way to do this is to Z target that sucker. Okay, we don't have a boomerang. And I missed it, darn it. And you can actually kind of do sort of like a little jump off. Give me a second here. Climbing. Oh, I said climbing, please. Nope. There we go. Um, let me try and get a little closer. Z target. Here we go. There is no jump button, but in a way that action acts like a jump. All right, so guess what? 
as soon as we enter here, I'm going to show you something cool. I've had time travel on my mind a lot this past week. And a lot of that is because I feel like I've been stuck in Groundhog Day. I've been waking up every day hoping for this stupid illness to be gone. Or at least, you know, feel like I'm on the road to recovery, right? But no. Day after day after soul-grinding day, uh, I have felt like crap. Over and over again. It has been Groundhog Day from hell. Which I guess is kind of an oxymoron. So, alright, check it out. Right there, end of this room in the right crate that I just destroyed is a gold skull Tala. And let's see, what does that give us now? Yeah, four. So that's our fourth one. This room is also a great place to tank up on, as you can see, rupees, which is what I'm doing. And what's great is the second you leave the room, those will respawn and you've got a room full once again. And you just go slash and burn, come in here, grab some rupees. And let's see, our wallet's not very big yet. What is it, about 100, I think? Yeah, 99, yeah. All right, so real quick, we went from in the teens to just about 100. So we are headed back to the Temple of Time for a very good reason. In our quest for Gold Skull Tullas, there's one that we need to get as a kid in the past. However, we also need the Song of Storms. The beautiful thing is that this time travel is bi-directional. Here we go. You destroyed the wicked creatures that haunted the temple and awakened the sage. But there are still other sages who need your help. In order to awaken all the other sages, you must become even more powerful. You must travel over mountains, underwater, and even through time. If you want to return to your original time, Return the Master Sword to the Pedestal of Time. By doing this, you will travel back in time seven years. The time will come when you have to return quickly, and I will teach this to you for when that time comes. The song to return you to the Temple of Time is the Prelude of Light. You have learned the prelude of light. As long as you hold the Ocarina of Time and the Master Sword, you hold time itself in your hands. Link, we shall meet again. There goes Sheik. Here we go, guys. You just travel back in time seven years. There are the spiritual stones that gave us access to the innermost part of the Temple of Time. The world is much better once again. If you. <laughs> what a way to state that, right? What once was, 
It's now again. Love time travel. All right. So we are headed up to the castle. We have the Song of Storms. What's beautiful is we just got the Prelude of Light as well. And again, as Sheik said, that allows us to quickly transport straight in, straight, right into the middle of the Temple of Time. Beautiful thing. You don't have to travel across Hyrule and all that kind of stuff to get there. But, as you well know, we're on a quest for the first 50. 50 odd uh, gold skulltalas. That being said, that's why we're doing this. That's why we just travel back in time. So like we did when we met the princess, this is a route that you take. Jump right into the moat here. Swim along, collect some rupees. Right here by this tree. Okay. And down we go. Okay. Also, it's critical for this place, which it, you have it anyway, right? You need bombs. Okay. This is a fantastic. Fantastic little section. Uh, lots of great goodies down here. You can sell those bugs running away. All right, so if you need bugs, they're here and they're still there. They're right there. Um, but because you get bombs before the Song of Storms, you already have them, right? So um, uh, let's get a boomerang. Of course, I'm really looking for that gold skulltella. Not you, sir. Let's see. Where's my next bombable wall? Here we go. Ah, there he is. Boomerang. One hit. Two hits. As usual, we lock on. That boomerang brings us home. Our prize. That's why we're here, of course, right, guys? So beautiful. This is it. The secret grotto, a Hyrule castle. It's got a gold skull teller, as you saw. Some other great little goodies in there. So, that takes care of that one. On our way to 50. Now, this is nothing groundbreaking or shattering, but when, it, when the things that you love are taken away, the things that make you happy define who you are, and especially the things that, you, you know, let's just say I, I missed it. Only at night? Let's find out. Ah. Some of these is kind of a, a lovely giveaway. They don't require nighttime to get them. This is one of them. Here we are in the village. Yep. There you are. Hi. Another gold skulltella that gives us a grand total of seven. Excellent. Yeah, it's the other crate. Okay. Got another one. There's two. Up to this big watchtower. Take out your slingshot. And do that guy in. There's a little chime letting us know that he's now available for pickup. There we go. There's another one. This little, maybe what used to be a building or something. Foundation, some kind of frame or anyway, brickwork right at the top of it. You can hear the guy from miles away. And another gold skulltella. That already gives us... I went the wrong way. Yep, there's ten. We do have ten. This is a house of skulltella. And what happens is, when the when the curse has been broken, around the room, these what used to be spider cursed people uh, become human again, and they give us a reward. 
In this case, boom, adult wallet. That's our first prize. So now we can hold up to 200 rupees instead of what was only 99. Not bad. Pretty good reward for maximum effort. All right, there's another one. Got another one, excellent. Okay, so. Playing the sun song. Right up behind this house, near the entrance. One of these guys is waiting for us. And what is that, 11? 12, okay, cool. This kind of thing, right, these soft soil spots, you actually revisit them more than once, okay? This time, of course, we are using the bugs to now get uh, Gold's Coltellas at night. However, you return there in the future, and I said, let's grab them. There's bugs. You release bugs. A lot of times, a lot of times they're under. Oh shoot! Stop. They're under rocks. No, stop. And then sometimes they're actually when you cut down grass. Uh, that's where they are. So, all right, because there's one right up here. Here it is. Okay, nighttime. Bottle. Bugs. That little chime lets us know that we're on the path to something good here. Hello. Nice. Then I believe left. Yep, to get back to where we were. I'm not gonna mess around with these guys this time. Here's our chime. They're still trying to peg me over there. And there's our gold skull Thank you. Bugs in our bottle. Both bottles because as I showed you on the way in that right back here behind the store is another spot. Always let it hurt me. Like a chump. Alright, that gives us 15. Okay. Alright, so it's night time. And by the way, right up here. Can't get it just yet. I can shoot it. But without the boomerang, I can't get that gold scotella. But he's waiting there for us. And you'll hear him at night time. So, another thing that you make another round, you come back around, and you get a prize that's now obtainable with whatever new weapon and or tool that we get along the way. However, this one doesn't require. So. There you go. Another gold skull tala. Nice. Worth the trip. As we claw our way towards 20, which is the next point in which we get a a prize for our efforts in the House of Skotella. Right up here. Is another chance to get some more. Alright, remember, sometimes they're under rocks. This is one of those cases. So... Picking up that rock right outside the graveyard, uh, you can actually capture yourself some bugs. So now I have two bottles worth 
for now I really only need one so we can get this right here Yeah, I hear you. All right, so here we go. This is Gerudo Valley. Now, there is a Skulltella right here to the right, next to that little waterfall. However, without the boomerang, we can't quite get that yet. Ah, oh, she's blocking the way. Okay. Of course she is. All right. There is, there are things that we can do here though. Hey, come here, come here. All right, thank you, buddy. Let's see, I believe it's this right side. Yeah, this is one of them. All right, here we go. Soaring off. Uh, did I, I, did I launch from the wrong place? All right, changing, changing directions here. I tried to do a roll there. Didn't work. All right. Sun song. Because we need to be nighttime. Using our bugs. There you go. Takes us right to Lake Hylia. Right, here we go. There's our chime. That is number 19. Yep. Number 19. The Dongo's Cavern. I really love the sounds in Wind Waker. Yep, yep. You know the little sounds he makes as he, um, as Link tries to do the same kind of thing. All right, so guess what? A couple of old baddies here. Remember these guys, of course, but we have one more up here that we're going to get. Hey, well, would you look at that? That chime means that our prize is ready. And we got another gold skull tall up. Beautiful. Where are we at? We're at 20. It's That's the next thing that we need to get. There is a place right here with our bomb bag. We can now use one of those bombs for the first time. I pressed that yellow button where we mapped it. Boom. Okay, duh. We used it to light up the, the eye sockets, didn't we? But. Gold Skull Tala. Hiding right there. Let's get the heck up. We uh, we got what we needed. I just want to blow that, kill the uh, the Skulltala, and then we move on. Because we have enough now to get ourselves the next prize. And there he is. The curse has been broken. Thank you. And here's the reward. And there it is. The Stone of Agony. Back in the old days, of course, we had what was called a rumble pack. And if you played the original you know, Nintendo 64 version, you remember that giant pack, couple of AA batteries in it. It's basically a, a rumble, it vibrated. And uh, now it's built into this controller. 
but uh, that's why the icon looks like that, right? Um, so, yeah, it, it's called the Stone of Agony. And what that does is when we're near a secret, um, it will alert us. For instance, various holes in the ground. Uh, there's one right out here. If I walk right over here. Yep. Can you guys hear that? Anyway, uh, my controller is vibrating right now. I'm not going to open that hole yet. I could bomb it, however. Uh, there's a gold rupee down there. I don't need it. I have enough rupees at the moment. However, when we go to buy some magic beans, and I want to get a lot more rupees to buy more magic beans, great place to go back and get 200 more. So that's what I can do. But for now, we have a couple goodies to get up here on the old trail. First one is right here. <laughs> I did it again. And we'll take two. There we go. All right, in here, believe it or not, this is a wall that you can climb. First things first, though, we gotta wipe this guy out. And then we'll claim our prize. There we go. All right, oh yeah, meanwhile, I got this jerk wide behind me. Get out of here. All right. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Looks like a regular wall. But it's a it's a climbable wall. And giving us another gold skull tall. That a noise. All right, heading back up the trail. I have some bugs ready. Because last time we blew this boulder. If you haven't seen it yet, the, the last installment, we went into Dundango's Cavern, right down this, this little uh, hallway here. And um, when we blew that boulder, the soft soil spot Hey, I gotta thank you. One of my new subscribers wrote me, schooling me, which I love. He's like, "Hey, dude, uh, you don't. Ha it doesn't have to be nighttime for the soft soil spot." Gold Skull tell us. So thank you, bud. I never claimed to be the all-consuming expert in this game. No, no, I don't know it all. Even after all these years, um, assumptions are made. But you know what? I play the game because I love the game, and just like you guys. And therefore, yeah, I don't claim to know everything. And that's why I love, after all of these years, we can still share with each other, uh, tell each other things that we might not know, secrets, silly things that we assumed along the way, like that one. So anyway, I thank you guys, man. Your comments are incredible. <laughs> Talk about a waste, right? Yeah. Yeah. So glad I got that 50 right there. We got the Gold Skull Tulla, and in that little alcove there, we have, by the way, you can blow these boulders, giving us access to, you could also use these tight ropes over there, but this gives us access to a little sub area here. Now that we have bombs, we can kind of bomb our way through. I'm trying to remember which way to go. Kind of think it's, no, it's not straight. It's right here. Um, for now, we can take care of these kind of brown colored boulders and that was a lovely waste as I'm running low on bombs you gotta love it here we go and it's this way yep we're blowing our way to the back of the room here I want to say again I do all this from memory um, Sometimes it serves me, sometimes it doesn't. It ain't that that time. Nice. Okay. Yep. <laughs> well, that's not why we're here. Okay, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Meaning, I didn't there. That's that's why we're here. I didn't need the rupees. But oh yes, I love it when we're low on hearts. Such good stuff. Very hot place. Later on, we'll have the Goron Tunic, which will, of course, be heat and fire resistant. However, for now, we do have a, a lovely timer. And with this timer, there is just enough time to grab this. There's a crate right inside. Okay, so first things first. Mr. Owl's waiting for us, of course. 
Looks like you've gotten bigger and stronger already, Link. Just ahead lies Zora's domain. The Zoras have served the royal family to protecting this water source. Their door will not open for anyone except those who have connection with the royal family. Let them hear the melody of the royal family. Yes, sir. Alright. Tree. If I could actually... <laughs> Here we go, right? That's what I wanted. Hello. And we got another one. By the way, now that it's nighttime, on the ladder. Another gold skull tall. Okay. Zora's Fountain. Now I'm pretty sure there's actually something that we can do before we enter the beast. You can actually run along this right here. You don't have to swim all the way. Yeah, there is a there's a a fairy fountain right there, but we can't get it with the. Um, There is a gold skull teller, though. Wait, that's... What you want to do first is toss her up there like that, and then... What you don't want... Because this, this, this button right here activates this water level and, and raises it. Well, we can't carry her across... Old school talk. Uh, we can't carry her across when, um... Oh, I already got a bottle. Cool. There we go. Got a fairy. Nice. If you re recall, in this main room, there was one spot, I want to say it's... No, it's not this one. I think it's this one. I hope it's this one. All right. Remember what we said earlier? Lock on. Boomerang. Brings us a gold skull teller. Nice. All right. So, again, checking out our map. Yeah, there are two rooms off of here. I could hear that sucker from across the way. Another Skulltella. If you remember earlier, I, uh, I jumped off with Princess Ruto and we fell back down. Well, this is what I saw, right? And kind of my uh, exuberance for the moment. I'm like, oh, yeah, I know that area. No, no, it was too early for it. But bringing a crate from the other side, like you just saw, we can hold down that switch. Since we do not have Princess Ruto with us, we um, get to snipe these guys out. There we go. Um, love the boomerang. Oh, it's such good stuff. There we go. Ah, oh, this makes life so much easier. Okay. So yeah, since we don't have Princess Ruto, we need to use a crate uh, to hold down one of those switches that requires holding down. So, uh, check it out on the wall. Another one. This one we can actually just climb for. Because we're going up here anyway. All right, here we go, guys. We are in Zora's Fountain right now. And as you know, last time we beat the uh, big baronade inside of uh, Lord Jabu Jabu. Well, right up here on the wall, since we now have the boomerang, and uh, we can actually target this sucker, 
at night, there is a gold skull toa sitting right here. It's, it's right off a log. It, when you're facing Jabu Jabu, it is um, it is to the right, and then it comes out over the water, and there's a gold skull toa right there on the wall. As you can see, I'm going to work my way back right now. You can kind of see where I just was standing. All right, so dropping down into the drink. It should be right over here. Oh, yay. We gotta do this. Okay. All right. You remember this room? We dive down, we trigger the button. And then we gotta book it back so we can get a, and hop a ride while the water level is slightly lower. And nice. That timing worked out well. Okay, we're here. I didn't, I was just trying to take out my sword and I accidentally hit him. Alright. And wipe him out. You guys doing all right? I hope so. We're gonna get to that temple of time soon enough. All right, so let's see, is this the room? This is not the room. Okay, they tend to look similar. Moving on. Okay, this should be the room. Darn it! I meant to. I thought I could slip by. Would you stop? Should have killed him. All right. It should be right here. <laughs> right as in the other way. All right, here we go. Come on, wipe out that dude. Okay, so what happened is we just blew that wall, which gains us access to here. I can hear the gold skull tell it already. Come on, spin around, dude. And it's right up here on the wall. That's this is why we're here. Again with the boomerang. After that, you can Z target it. Use the boomerang. And we got another one. Which brings our total count up to 34 at the moment. Okay. Yeah, it's still nighttime. I can still hear the uh the crows caw oh shoot, cawing. All right, right up here on the wall. If you recall uh, w one of the earlier episodes, shoot, all right, there we go. Um, it was really annoying hearing this, that guy right there, see this skull tell up there? Annoying hearing him and not being able to get him. So we're doing that now. Two hits. Z target. Try to Z-target. There you go. And we got it. Cool. Now, I believe in the back south west corner of the property, there is also one more Skulltala on uh, high up in a wall. Again, if memory serves, right? We're about to find out. Yeah, there it is. All right. See, the big tower right there, that's where we got that piece of heart by moving around the milk crates in the earlier episode. But now, this is available to us because we have the boomerang. C target. And that bloody crow hurt me. Oh, you little punk. Give me a heart. Give me a heart. Oh, you didn't. There it is. I think that's it right there. All right. Let's get our bombs out. At least I don't, I don't think this is Song of Storms. Yep. It's vibrating.
and there it is. I love how it blows up the little rocks, right? Revealing some goodies. Extra little goodies inside. Okay, here we go. All right, this is a great little place for the first time. We're going to use Din's Fire. And what that's going to do is... It should be a big enough blast to uh, burn away all these these uh, spider webs. These yeah, there we go. Nice. Okay. Meanwhile, uh, check it out. Oh, he didn't launch. I love it when they launch. Okay. Oh, hello, Mr. Cow. And there's some bugs. All right, right up there. That's why we're here. target and we got another one easy peasy <laughs> it's a pri all right so playing the Sun song why do we do that so we can actually see what we're here to get there it is right there Gold Skulltella, again, now is accessible because we have the boomerang. Z target. There we go. Nice. My goodness, what do we just, we just got like five or six more? Yeah. All right, so we're up to 38. And that's an example, right? I should add. Had I waited two, three, you know, we're going here anyway, but had I waited a couple, three more seconds, um, yeah, that wouldn't have happened. All right, time is moving, crap. You know what that, hey, watch this, check this out. It's gonna be cool. Time is moving, sun's coming up, and if I don't hurry, he will literally disappear on us. Like that. Let's make it nighttime again. So right, we're we're using that cuckoo to get to that ledge to plant a magic bean, right? In a previous episode, you know that we used the bugs to get a skulltella there, and there's another one by the way on the lakeside laboratory. We got that. Meanwhile, we have a magic bean, and guess what? That's why we're here. Very nice. Oh, guess who's here? Oh, good. He's gonna leave me alone. All right. When we have the hook shot in the future, long shot, you can usually get to the top of this tree right before us here. And there is a gold skull tella up there. Also, in the future, we can shoot an arrow off of this little island. And as the sun's coming up, that's how you get the fire arrows. But, yeah, that's why. Thank you for coming with me. Um, that's why we're here. That's right here. Meanwhile, again, the sun's coming up. But we got it just in time. Nice. Okay, another one. That is... We're up to 40. Hey, we got some new prizes waiting for us, guys. Because the last time we cashed in was at 20. All right, and we just doubled that. So... We need to go back to the house of Skulltella, don't we? It should be just beyond. See, there's a lot of places that are now accessible to us. And with bombs, okay? Bombs are what blow. Yeah, okay. My my controller's vibrating. Shard of Agony. Alright, so dropping a bomb. And also took care of those guys. Two for one special. And down we go. Okay. There it is right there. That's why we're here, people. Oh. Alright. He's out of the way. He will not bother us again. Thank you for the heart. And right up there is why we're here. Z 
target. Boomerang. Got another gold Gotella. Nice. Back right corner? Is how I describe it, I guess. Uh, this way. Right up here in this wall. Using a boomerang. And actually try to hit it this time. One. Two. Z target. Retrieve. Nice. We can head straight back there and collect two more. And this is the house of Skulltala right here. All right. Yeah, there's the first one. I believe that's the second one. And let's talk to this guy. The curse has been broken. Thank you. Here's a reward. And now we got Bombachus. Nice. And then here's another one. Curse has been broken. Here's your reward. You are welcome, sir. And check it out, guys. Giant's wallet. That, that's the, that's the money right there. Literally. Um, we can now hold up to 500. Um, before, you know, we went from 99 to 200. Now we're at five. So, worth it. Worth it. Um, especially as an adult. And, yeah. It's totally worth it. One of which... Remember the house of Skulltella? We just passed it. There's a house here at the back of the village. Well, all right, here we go. So we, oops, hookshot and red dot on the surface before you means that you're gonna get a good. You're gonna, you're latching onto it. See, the sucker can pull us roof to roof now, and look what's waiting for us. This will be number forty-three for us. Like the boomerang, you can after you defeat the gold skull tunnel, you can use it to pull it toward you. Nice, I just landed that roof. Oh, I love that. The uh, yeah, there it is. The hook shot's a great tool for looking around. So, and there it is right there. As you can see, before with the boomerang, it took two. There, there's another one. With the boomerang, it took two uh, hits. Now uh, it takes just one. Oh, just a much more powerful weapon or tool. Zero's Domain changed just a little bit since playing the Song of Storms. Um, in these seven years, it's all frozen over. So we're standing in a frozen wasteland. All right, Song of Storms on this platform right off the fairy fountain. We have our hook shot ready. Kind of sad, King Zora. Frozen solid, some kind of mystical red ice. We'll be getting to that. We will free him. So. I hear you, Mr. Skulltala. There you are. There's another one. Five now. Five more. Roll. Oh, darn it. Come on. Why didn't you roll, Link? Um, it's too high. Five more, of course, and we get a piece of heart. Okay. Right. Left. Right. Left. Here's Mido. Left. And we're back. Okay. 
It is now nighttime. Can you hear it? Yeah. That's why we're here. Skulltella. If you guys haven't checked it out yet, I have a guide to the first 40, 42 gold Skulltellas. It's in. Anyway, yeah, it's about a 40 minute video, which is kind of perfect, right? Uh, a minute per Skulltella. But yeah, I now have a video about that if you guys want to check that out. Check out all the, uh, the, the first set that we get as Young Link. So, we are now outside the Forest Temple. One of the first things you want to do is climb up here to the right. There's actually a gold Skulltella up here. You can see it right above my head. Now we can hear it. So let's get that puppy. Z target. And when you press that uh, button for your, try to, um, don't just do a quick press, you want to press it a little bit longer. Here we are. Main chamber of the forest temple. These, are the Poe sisters. Four of them. And they go off to hide in paintings. And we'll need to go search them out and take care of them one by one. So, alright guys, the first thing we want to do is head north. This uh, room has north, south, east, and west quarters to it. But right here in the north, before we go through the door, we get another gold spot. If you watched it along for my um, gold skull tele guide, thank you. That's on my channel, a complete guide to the first 42 gold skull tellers. This gives us number. Oh, well, we're up to 49. Not bad. We are one away from the next prize at the House of Skulltala. See that gold Skulltala right there? Okay. Sometimes this can be kind of tricky. Let's see if we can demystify it some. You know, the red dot means that you're gonna get a connection on the other end. There we go, and we're here, we're here. Nice. Can you guys hear it? We're not here for that piece of heart. Uh, we're here for this guy. Z target. Hook shot, just like when we were kids with the uh, boomerang. Okay, so that guy keeps pegging me. So annoying. All right. All right, there's our skull top. We are now in a new place. <clears throat> sort of. We are now over where we were before. It's a if you carefully go out on this ledge, a couple of easy peasy hearts sitting here for us. Meanwhile, I hear something. Oh, oh hello. And we got another one. All right, we are off to Kakariko Village to get the prize for 50 gold Skulltellas. And you know where we're headed, right? So here we go. This is it. Many, many hours, multiple dungeons, Seven long years traveling through time from a kid to now adult Link. It took that long just to get 50, but we're here. Now let's go cash in. All right, as you know, we have freed one, two, three, four, five, and I'm hoping this is it. This is it. Here's our reward. 
That's right. For 50, we get a piece of heart. Which is fantastic. We, um... That's right. I was hoping it completed a container, but... It is what it is, so that is 50, every guys. We are good to go there. Not bad. Well, I want to thank you guys for joining me as we collected 50 gold skull tullas. It's been a blast. And as you know, my Arcarina of Time series is continuing, starting from the very beginning at the Deku Tree, and of course, working all the way to the end to beat Ganondorf. So please, check out my... Uh, playlist for that or just check out my channel you can see the other videos you'll see where we collected all these gold skull tell us but uh one of my uh subscribers one of you guys said hey what about a video showing all this so that's what this is this has been 50 gold skull tell us we cashed in we got our piece of heart this is loud boy i thank you guys for joining me you guys have a really good night check you next time bye